Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. girlfriend and a puppy. This all happened at the New Hope housing apartments on Saturday. The man accused was already on probation for stabbing a different woman two years ago. KPRC 2's Corley Peel live outside the apartments with the evidence that points police to the man in custody. Corley? These apartments have security cameras that captured that deadly stabbing. And right now the motive is unclear, but I spoke with a neighbor who says there were plenty of red flags leading up to Pot's girlfriend's death. Days before Marcus Pont's arrest, a neighbor who wants to remain anonymous says she noticed something was off. The days leading up to the murder, he was, he was like a, a strange he was strange. She was just real strange. And um, he tried to talk to me about it. I hate that I didn't talk to him. Saturday night, police say neighbors and staff heard Pot's girlfriend screaming for help inside the New Hope housing apartments. I heard two uh, screams. It wasn't as loud as you would think. Police say Pont's girlfriend and her puppy were found with multiple stab wounds. Records show an employee found Pot's cleaning up blood. When she asked him what happened, he said, I just whooped her. The anonymous neighbor says she's witnessed Pot's be violent towards his girlfriend in the past. So did you ever try to intervene between Marcus? Yes, I have. And what was that like? Very frustrating. He was very hot pitch, angry, angry, angry. When I told her, I'm going to call her husband. Like, no, no, no. Do you regret not calling police earlier? Yes. Yes, I regret allowing her to make the decision. Yes, I do. A spokesperson with New Hope Housing sent a statement saying in part, we are working closely with Houston Area Women's Center to strengthen our ability to ensure any resident who might be in an abusive situation has access to life-saving services. I just want for everyone to know, the women to know, that they do not have to stay in that type of environment in a relationship with someone that's hurting them, whether it's verbally, and New Hope Housing says that they are working with residents to make sure that they, if they or someone they know needs assistance or is in a domestic violence situation, that there is help and resources available. Reporting live from Fifth Ward, Corley Peel, KPRC 2. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.